Okay. So the recording has started. We are still very, very, very few here, uh, which I'm wondering why. But, you know, let me reach out to others again in the Slack channel so that they can, they can join. Um, ladies, please join. okay all right let's see if uh everyone who's late they join uh like very quickly but as we are waiting for them let me introduce myself again and also let you know why we do have like only women sessions we will be as we be having them uh like once per week always so first of all i am pascaline you the singer i'm rwandan um i've been at 10 academy for almost like six months and it's been an amazing journey testifying the impact of this program especially on women for instance i started with the cohort a which is the cohort that is uh, very soon to graduate and the kind of impact i saw how i saw them growing from the very first day of them joining to the day on like today in the sgs phase what we call the job search phase. Now they are currently looking for different jobs. They are doing interviews and we are supporting them in any way pos possible and seeing them growing from joining as kind of junior people in their area to now being the professionals within their full, within their tech stack. It's pretty impressive, pretty impressive. And how did we achieve that? Majority of them who has been so successful in this journey is because they have took these kind of sessions very seriously and they really always cooperated to ensure that each one of them is winning. You know, as women, um, especially again, as women in our continent, the African continent, we always have this kind of super extra responsibilities that comes with our gender and Fortunately, that comes with our agenda is either at home, either at work, and you know th there is there is nothing we can do about it, to be honest. But what we can do is to support each other throughout the ways, throughout our professional journeys, especially. How about we meet up on a on a weekly basis and chat about how has how our week has been voice up about different challenges that we have meet different other women technical tutors for any kind of inspiration when you feel like you're about to give up this is where we meet and share how tough the week has been how the challenges uh they have been sort of or i mean we share anything if there is any kind of session or any kind of challenge that you want us to repeat this is the session where you get the privilege for the technical tutor to go through the session again. Imagine others had just the opportunity to just go through the challenge for only one time, but using this kind of session, you get the opportunity or the privilege for the to, to have that session being repeated. You know, the technical tutors, most of them are women. So we are very, very understanding when it comes to different blockers or different challenges we might face. Just because, just because. You can complete just because but yeah that, that is the major purpose of having this specific space for only women it's literally coming up together and supporting each other and ensuring that everyone here wins ensuring that everyone here wins we voice up different challenges we even motivate each other at some point there was this time where we would meet and there are no challenges to talk about and we just talk about whatever life we are living in different countries because realities are totally different. So yeah, that's kind of, um, if like, I can call it like a summarized introduction as to why it's like a general casual introduction as to why we have this kind of sessions. Women only led sessions, like you won't see even any technical male, <laughs> tech male uh, tutor here, it's just going to be women. So talking about tutors, I'm here with Rahmet and probably Emtina is also here. Uh, I'm not sure if you have met Rahmet yet, but Rahmet, would you like to introduce yourself to those who haven't met you? 
before? Okay, sure. You can hear me, right? Yeah, am I audible or? Yes, you are. Can you confirm, Pascal? Yeah, okay. So, hi, everyone. It's nice to meet you all. I think it's the first time that I'm introducing myself here. So, I'm Rahmat Teshano. Me and Imtanan were uh, last year Ten Academy trainees. Right now, we are working with Ten Academy as tutors. So, we already uh, fin we finished the last batch, the one that was previous from you, and now we are working with you guys. So, uh, I'm happy everyone is here and we can help you with technical uh, things regarding the project. And uh, other than that, like Pascal said, we also can have a chat as women because we already have passed through this intensive training ourselves as our trainee. We already know how you guys feel. So I think we will be more connected to your struggles and whatever you're feeling uh, in the future in teamworks. It might be hard. It might not depending on you, but uh, we're here to help. So it's nice to meet you again. And I guess this is it. Uh, I'm looking forward to also featuring you guys as well for the future. Okay, thank you, Pascal. Take over. Okay. Thank you so much, Rahmet. Uh, we have Emtina here. I don't think she's in. Okay, it's all right. But I believe uh, most of you have met Emtina during the also women only session during the application period. I believe here yeah, before the assessment. So yeah, you have met her. She and Rahmet, like Rahmet said, it's so beautiful, beautifully. They have been part of the trainings before and they have been uh, like one, some of the best women uh, trainees we ever had at Ten Academy. So that's why they even landed their job opportunities here at Ten Academy. So it's super amazing. I love to hear that. So, and as she said, she they are going to be able to connect with you, like really just because they understand the kind of lives you are going through and the struggles and the blockers you are facing here at an academy because they have been part of it before so it's super great that we are going to be having this time before we even go through then the main purpose of this session how are you feeling about it i want to hear like two reviews how are you feeling about having this specific session just for us any hands up Mm, I can see some hearts being dropped. Super, super cool. But anyone to voice up? Anyone to open their mic and share with us? Hello? Hello. Okay, Grace said uh, she thinks this is really thoughtful. How about others? I want to hear someone speaking. Anyone to speak? no guys well what's happening what's happening because actually this session should be more fun and should be more engaging and we should be feeling free to share anything because it doesn't come just as a session it comes always as a conversation between us and you just between us all can we have two people opening up their mics and sharing with us what do you think Okay, we have Shayla. Shayla, I like how you have been so very, very active. Very impressive, really. Uh, anyone else on the queue? Or should I nominate? I will nominate Levine to go next. So Levine, get ready as Shayla completes uh, sharing or gets done with sharing, you will go next. Shayla? Um, hello. Um, I 
didn't quite get the question. I think you're asking how I feel about this program. Exactly. No, how you feel about having the women only session, according to okay. the background we shared about it. Um, okay, it's really empowering, actually, because you started with African women, we have roles that um, there are roles that are defined for us and there are roles that society has already defined for us. And mostly people think that um, we don't have the mental, okay, they think our emotional emotions block us from a lot of things. So this, having a women's only session makes it amazing to feel like you have a community and you can actually um, come here and talk to people who have experienced the same emotions as you have because, um, as women, there are things that we experience that are very common. Similar to men, but then for them, they don't. I don't think they think about being empowered. But for us, um, it's really amazing to have a community in any program because it makes you feel included and it makes you feel like um, you're in the right place. Because now it will be easier for me to like ask a lady a question and not feel like I'm going to be judged or looked at in a different way because she's also a lady she knows everything i go through and we're in this together so basically i think it's an amazing it's an amazing part it's an amazing session an amazing program and an amazing thing that you guys are doing here thank you okay thank you so much Shayla. you shared it so beautifully like we understand each other so you will feel like you are free to ask any question and you don't really be afraid of being judged. Really, we are the last person to judge each other. So I like how you put it together big time. Thank you. Levine, can you hear me? Levine, or oh, how about Grace or Bilu? Who's here? Grace, can you hear us? Yes, I can. I'm not sure if um, the one you're addressing. Yes. You oh, are the one. Yeah. Okay. I I feel like this is really nice. But first, when I joined, there were a lot of men commenting in the in the other sessions. And sometimes they're asking things that a little fit. A little bit feel like they are beyond my scope. I had to go Google what the hell was that. So having a smaller circle, as the other one said, makes you feel included and it's easier to ask some questions that you might think are stupid. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that. A very important point. At some point you might feel like um you know you are scared of asking each and everything in the very main group but we still encourage you actually to engage in the general sessions but this one specifically it comes for anyone who you have any kind of other reserved questions you want to ask so yeah so a little announcement before i hand over to the technical team rahmet and demtina to answer different questions you might have in regards to different sessions that have been presented so far or different challenges that has been presented so far. Um, let me make these few assessments. The very first thing, we are going to be having our women only channel. It's space, uh, again on Slack, women only channel. So we encourage you all to join and we encourage you to be as engaging as possible. If someone posts their a question, and you know the answer to that question, please go ahead and help them. Please go ahead and help them. And of course, our technical tutors, they are going to be part of the channel. So they are going to be there to help. But if you know the answer and you have seen that question before anyone else probably saw it, go ahead and reply. And also, if you don't know, you probably have the same question. Let them know that they can let you know when they find the answer. You know, you can even put a plus one, like a reaction plus one, like, oh, I also 
I also am facing this question and would love to hear the answer. So let's be as engaging as possible. And also when Rodas is asking something, Rodas, if you don't know yet, Rodas is the head of the cohort. So she is the one looking after us all. If she is posting there any question or asking you anything, or even anyone else, like if it's Aaron, if it's Emptina, if it's Rehmet, we might have other people, like a few women also, who are part of the 10 Academy team joining us in the channel. If they are asking something and probably they want to know your progress around something or a certain challenge, please let's engage. That's the very first thing. I don't want us to be dormant and sleeping and, and no, it's actually taking your phone or your laptop and just typing your thought. So let's be as engaging as possible. Let's, let's be cool people that we are, because I already know that we are. So, and then we'll be having weekly sessions for all brokers that you are facing. I encourage you to join these kind of sessions, even if you feel like you do not have any blocker. Even if you feel like you do not have any blocker, please join the session. You might join to support others, or you might even find out something that you believe you know, but you don't know it on the standard that you should know it. So you might learn a thing or two, or you might support someone, you know. So I encourage everyone, everyone, like put it on your schedule that you cannot miss the women only sessions. And then number three, um we are going to be having guest talks for women only guest talk is where we bring up alumni or successful professionals in your specific field it can be um ai engineering data engineering or machine learning engineering we bring up professionals or we bring up women who have graduated at 10 academy in those in those specific field for them to share their experience and for them to share the life after 10 academy how is it looking like which companies are they working for or do they have their own ventures what kind of problems are they solving with their own ventures or how is the world out here how long did it take them to land those dream jobs uh, how was the 10 academy journey generally as a woman how did they navigate it like different kind of uh inspirations that we might get from the, those um specific guests that we invite so i encourage you to be joining these sessions because but we will be letting you know prior if we are going to be having a guest or if we are going to be having our just session to uh talk about the blockers that we have been facing in the week so i believe that is all above all above all i repeat this I encourage you to speak up. I encourage you to speak up because um, there is nothing that really comes with just holding the question to yourself. And there is, it doesn't solve anything. It doesn't solve anything. And there is nothing that comes from just holding the answers to yourself if you know that you can support someone else. We are here to support each other, to make sure that everyone wins, to make sure that every lady here become the exemplary within the training. So let's do that together. I want you to speak up either within this women only session or within the stand up or within the challenge tutorials. Like, I really encourage you to speak up. There is nothing beautiful than putting your name out there, putting your name out there so that everyone knows uh, that this person is part of the training. There might be an opportunity that comes their way and they you be the first person to come in their mind just because you have been putting your name out there. So yeah, let's do it. And I'm super happy for you that you have stepped up here in this tech journey. I'm telling you, you know, I have to make you guys friends because in the next six months, you are going to be being paid millions of money. Like guys, I don't know, you will be rending me some money at some point, you know? So I'm super happy for you, super happy for you. So I'm going to be passing it to Rehmet and Emtina to take any questions that you have been facing. Grace, that question you have been having, that small or big clarification you wanted, and also to everyone here, this is the time to ask it. Rehmet and Emtina, they are here for us, so let me give it up to them. Let me stop talking. 
I know that sometimes I, I really talk, 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 talk. <laughs> but I enjoy it, by the way. So yeah, thank you, everyone. Can I get some reactions that we stood together? Okay, Anasise, thank you so much. All right, Mora, is it a question to me or you want to go first to ask? Okay, Rahmet, over to you and empty now. Okay. Thank you, Pascaline. You have said everything that should be said. Uh, so if you have any technical question in this week's challenge, you can go ahead and ask any confusion. Even if you're, there is a good understanding to it, you can let us hear your understanding of the project and how is it going so far. So anyone can just raise, uh, raise your hand and keep sharing your struggles. So you have to start uh, start talking because uh, you you, would, you wouldn't be benefit if you just keep quiet. Even if it's a struggle, please speak up. You don't have to be perfect. No one is. We we were we weren't perfect at week zero in our during training time. We struggled a lot. We our score is just below average, but we did make it. You can improve in time. So it's okay not to be good as this uh, in week zero. It's better if someone raised their hand for me not to call anyone. Okay, thank you, Daisy. Please go ahead. Uh, hello, everyone. Hi. So I wanted to ask if you, uh, if the tutors could give us a breakdown of how to approach the tasks, like um, how would you do it yourselves, like the basic steps? Yeah. Yeah. So there is a common way of doing it, a data science, a data engineering project that is start from analyzing the data by visualizing it. Just understand the data that you have first. Uh, understanding is the most important thing before breaking down it into more complex uh, tasks. So have you done that at least, Daisy? Uh, have you tried to understand what the data is by visualizing it, doing it analysis? That is the first step that you have to do, understanding the data. Have you tried it a little bit, Daisy? Just share me your experience. Um, I have not gotten to the EDA part yet. What I've done is I have been going through the, the startup pack, the startup package called trying to understand what each file is doing, then I'm going to run the code before I get to the EDA part. Did you understand it? The startup? Not fully, not fully. So the, about the startup GitHub code that was given to you, it, it's not particularly, you don't have to understand each code there. It is a code that was, uh, that is being prepared for another project. So don't worry about the code in there. The only code that's gonna be useful for you would be the floating functions if you, if you I think on the utils folder, there's a floating function for floating, which means that will be beneficial for doing when you do your EDA analysis of the data. So other than that, the other codes are not directly related to this project. So trying to understand that might waste you st your time. So just uh, don't waste your, um, too much time on understanding the code that's been given there. Just understand the data structure. There is a note folder when you, where you create your notebooks where you do the data analysis, uh, you, I, I'm, I'm hoping that you understand what notebook is right on yesterday tutorial. Everything that you're doing, you're gonna do it on the notebook, it's a tool that you are using, that you will use to do that analysis project. You have installed Jupyter notebook, right, everyone? Have, great. So, Daisy, I'm, I'm going to guess you also understand the purpose of their notebook. So, that, the, the notebook folder is just giving you, if you have any notebook editor, any notebook 
files that you want to input that you are planning to use for your project put it on the notebook folder and the utils folder there are those uh, on those folder usually codes python codes for functional functionalities python functionalities that you are planning to use it for different purposes that's kind of code you will put them on the utils folder where it is there on the start map function it's just a structure to put your uh, functions or your files so you can have a very well, a very well structured GitHub repository. So, don't focus too much on the code that are already existed. Uh, just move on to the analyzing the data, understanding the data. The ADA part is really important to move forward with the other tasks. Tasks, uh, I think, tasks two, three, four, and five need uh, more work. But you have to start first from understanding the data. Uh, using the ADA analysis. So, uh, I'm thank actually. You. Thank you. Yes, yeah. thank you. I just don't want you to focus on the course of the current startup code. It just don't waste your time on that too much. Okay, Salamite, you can go ahead. Is it mandatory to download the Jupyter Notebook or can we keep on working using VS Code? Yeah, VS Code also have a, a Jupyter Notebook extension if you want that. It's not mandatory. It's just easier. Uh, it's not if you can use uh, in VS Code, are you using modules or what exactly are you writing your code on? Are you writing your code on py mo module uh, salamai okay yeah you can do that also base code has a jupyter notebook extension if you want you can also use that there's no mandatory just make sure the the work is done but it will be advantageous to you to understand how notebook work also so try to install uh, the, the jupyter notebook on your base code and see what it can do Okay, so is there another question? Okay, thank you, Salamite, for participating. Okay, one person asked a question. Okay, Salamite, go ahead. Salam, you can. Okay, was was it a mistake? Are you raising hot or okay, Levine, you can go ahead. Okay, I have a question. I don't know if you you've answered it, but what am I what should I do when I'm trying to push the notebook to my GitHub? Since the data sets like they are so big, will they be able to be pushed um, or what can I do concerning that? Okay, okay, so uh, I'm not sure if you have seen, uh, if not, not Nile showed you yesterday, but there is an option uh, in GitHub uh, projects, in GitHub uh, purpose studies named gitignore. Do you have information about what gitignore can do in GitHub? Yeah, yeah, I have information about so that. So if you put the data through a direct, um, Path direction on your Git ignore. When you push it to GitHub, it won't push the data to the GitHub. It will only be left on your machine, but it won't be pushed. So you have to put every file that you don't want to be pushed on GitHub on your Git ignore, and it will be uh, pushed without them. Okay, so, thank you. For that. Okay, thank you, uh, Stacy. Please go ahead. Uh, how do you incorporate the Git Ignore with the Jupyter Notebook? So all you have to do, there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube. I will advise you to check that, but just to tell you the steps in words, all you have to do is create a dot, dot .git ignore file on your base code or whatever your editor they are using in your file. So in after creating that file, if you put the paths of the files or the folder that you don't want to push on that ignore file, it will not push it when you 
write the command git push, it will not push any of the classes that you put on your git ignore file to the GitHub repository. Okay. So just the tutorial, there are tutorials, uh, it, it will be much easier for you. It's a simple process. Okay. Okay. And any other question? Go ahead. I hope I pronounce your name correctly. Yeah, Musi, I, I, you can go ahead ask. Okay, Stacy, uh, you can speak up. When you're doing the conda install for the different libraries, can you, are you supposed to just open the Jupyter notebook, then you install them, you do conda install, or how do you go about it? So if your installation is correct, the Jupyter notebook should be able to run. Which tip are you in? Pardon? If you install the the Conda installation, it will able to run. The notebook should be able to run. Is it installed correctly? It, the the Jupyter notebook, uh, I installed it correctly. Yeah, but uh, there are those libraries like Seaborn, uh, Pandas, which I need to do Conda install for me to start now using it on the on the data. So you're asking which libraries are you supposed to use for analyzing the data? Like I'm asking, the, the, lib, the different libraries, do I just uh, do conda install? Like I just type conda install on the Jupyter notebook or or it's yes. a must I go to the command line? You can install it by the command line, say conda install pandas, conda install uh, numpy. You can do that. Okay. Uh, if you install PIMP, also it's another tool. It will also let you to install PIP install pandas. Usually, most of the time, we use PIP also. Uh, just different ways which which does the same purpose. So uh, they're also just to give you an hand there of a PIP. If you automatically your machine able to detect PIP command. So if you see also PIP install. Pandas, it will work. Uh, okay. Other, just a simple tool also, in your VS code, there's an extension for notebook. You just can write on the extension for Jupyter Notebook, and it will automatically install Jupyter Notebook, and directly from your VS code, you can access the notebook through the, through the extension also. OK, so thank you. If it's giving you trouble, you can just use the VS for Jupyter Notebook as, as well. Okay, thank you. Were uh, wow. there any other questions? We have a few minutes, so if you have any questions, you can use the time. Okay, thank you. So if there's no any question, we can mm, go ahead, Mahbuba. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, okay, what are you going to exactly do on the notebook folder? On the notebook folder, you're going to, you're going to create a new notebook file, which is, so just whatever the name of the file name is, dot .ipynb, which gives you a notebook file. If you are using a VS Code editor, so after creating a new notebook file, you can start uh, Installing any library that you want to use, like pandas, and then by others for math cloud for protein uh, for doing the ADA analysis, and you can go ahead and analyze the data. So, all you have to do is just create a notebook file, not the notebook folder. So, the ED uh, file is done on that notebook? Yeah, 
it's just not a requirement to do it on notebook. It's just easier to see your work on your file, on your notebook file, but also you can create a module with a PY file and do the ADA analysis as well. But notebook is much easier to see your work on that particular file. Uh, so that's uh, that's what the notebook is. Notebook. I hope I'm clear. Okay, thank you. Okay, last chance to any left questions or confusions. We otherwise we can wrap this session. Okay, great. So uh, we're gonna see each other again in this week. We have tutorials. So if you have any question, you can also uh, keep it for uh, until we meet or uh, also found on the slide. So you can go ahead and DM us. We will able to, uh, we are able to answer your questions. So if you have any que no questions, I'm gonna end this meeting. Okay, last chance. So I guess we can end the session. Uh, if you have anything to say, you can go ahead. Otherwise, let's end it here. Okay, thank you everyone for joining in and asking questions. Please uh, keep doing that, keep talking. Okay. Uh, we can stop the recording, Pascal, I guess. Within academy team, you can stop the recording.